So, level one. I have attempted to protect kinsmen in my village against ca tax collectors. Just being thrown into prison for these rebellious crimes against Silenheim, I awaken from consciousness, apparently. So I've got to get out, obtain a weapon, defeat enemies, and escape the dungeon. That's how the game starts. That's me. That must have hurt. <coughs> so this is Enclave. Currently I'm a knight. A knight class. Some bad guys out there. So I gotta find a weapon. I gotta find a weapon. That was easy. Q to act activate my weapon. I might want to use it. Yeah, it's not the most complicated uh, control, sy control system in the world, but uh, this is a fun little game. I like it. I like it quite a lot. It's a nice deviation. Dead thing there. Nothing in here. So this is the start of the good campaign, obviously. There are um, there are six. Well, there are twelve classes in the game, but uh, there are six good and six bad guys. Uh, they're pretty much carbon copies of each other. There's a lever there. I'll pull that. Use mouse two to pull the lever. As you go through the game, you, you find the different classes that you can be. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to... A torch is necessary in the sewers. As I find a character to play, um, I'm going to be that character like the next mission. And then once I've played like all six characters, I'm going to pick a character to be for the rest of the game. I already know who that'll be, but... Um, we'll leave it for now. There's a, there's a few levels to go yet before we collect all the characters. Space to jump. Pretty standard, uh, pretty standard start. They're attacking us. I can't attack him. It's a snotling. It's a gun. Oh, I'll get him. Yeah, he's dead. A snotling. It's almost as if I knew it was going to happen, isn't it? Okay, I picked up a torch. Wow. Okay, that hurt. Yeah, there's wait a minute, there's some gold around here, some there's some gold there. Yes, there's gold in this game as well. Um I don't know how to get that. I'm not gonna waste too much time trying to get it. The gold gets you better better items and stuff. E to use a torch. There we go. Gets you better items and stuff. You you can like you can equip better items C to crouch. You can equip better items during the game and uh, revisit earlier levels with better equipment. So you can like kick people's asses that have that you've had difficulty with before. This place is really taking a, a beating like, isn't it? Let's go, let's go to these places first. Let's have a look up here. Dead end. Might be some gold, you never know. Oh, I'm going to get lost. Oh, what's this? Gold! Gold! A drop! And it did end. There you go. I got 10 gold out of 50. You can see that at the top right of the screen. Jump to... That didn't work. Jump. There we go. I'm now clown climbing the ladder. Study progress. We're doing well. We're doing well. Oh, 
I got a shield, I got a shield. How do I get rid of the torch? Oh, E. E? Okay, good. It was telling me. Oh, silly of me. This is a quite cool little game, you know, I, I, I like it. There have been similarities drawn with this and uh, Severance Blade of Darkness, but aside from the fact that... Oh, come back! Aside from the fact that this is a third person hack and slash game set in a fantasy world with, with big swords and stuff, I don't, I don't really see the, uh, the similarities between them. I'm not going to go down there, I think I'll die. Ah! Git. Severance is a very uh, brutal, dark, um, quite in-depth game. Like, if you were to run into a, a room of enemies in, in Severance and just swing your sword, just spam the left mouse button, you would probably die pretty, pretty quickly. Um, in this, if you if you did the same thing, you you, you, you could survive. You could survive because it's oh, I've been this way. I guess it's a little bit more more arcadey. It kind of reminds me of of Golden Axe in a way. Like if Golden Axe was was 3D. This is what it would be like. All retro. I miss my uh, Mega Drive. Oh. Oh, you did. You died. Also, this game has a plot, which was revealed by the, the rather lengthy um, intro movie. Which was quite basic. Oh, it's a dead end. Where do I go then? I guess I'll have to go down that pit, maybe. There are no save spots in this. There are only, like, like checkpoints. Oh, there we go. I think he has a crossbow or something. Nope. I'm just run in and kill them. There you go. Yes, as I was saying, Severance to me didn't really seem to oops. I don't know, I don't want that. Didn't really seem to have that much of a plot. That's locked. I mean I only played with Zoe the Amazon, um, and I finished the game with her, but it seemed like I, I go to a to a city and I uh, looking for treasure which is fine, this 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 deserted city. Press F to drink health portions, I don't need to. Ah rolling barrels and then suddenly I'm in this quest to save the world against something that I don't understand and I don't know why I'm doing it whereas in this whoa it might be different for a whoa there's a bomb yes there's bombs in this as well in this you kind of like know why what you're doing and, and why you're doing it more and it's it's, it's not more fun but it's a bit, it's a bit more accessible little level select thing and stuff. This game has indestructible glass, as you can see. An indestructible box. I picked up a rusty key and there's a dead person there. I guess that would open that. Yeah, now we found a huntress. Brave warrior. We should join forces. Yes, we should. So this is another uh, another class that you can be. Oh, there we go. That's the end of the mission. So I found I found some some uh, some gold pieces to equip myself with, and now uh, we're on to the, the the second part.